August means it is back to school time in this school year. There is a big change. Many families will need to address the federal waiver, which provided free meals to all students during the pandemic has come to an end. KPRC 2's Taisha Walker live tonight with what parents need to know. Taisha. Keith, simply put, what many districts in our area are doing are reverting back to what they did prior to the pandemic, which is have families fill out an application. The federal waiver that helped school districts provide free meals to all students for the last two years expired at the end of the last school year. Students getting ready to head back to school for the 2022-2023 school year will have to fill out an application, as families did before the pandemic, to qualify for free, reduced, or paid meals. The online application went live today for Fort Bend ISD. If mom and dad don't apply today, they could actually apply May 1st. You know, they might miss out on a bunch of free meals or reduced price meals, uh, but we don't limit and we don't uh, really turn parents away. Matt Antignolo is the executive director of child nutrition for Fort Bend ISD. He says if a student attends one of the 28 schools in the district offering the community eligibility program, also known as CEP, breakfast and lunch will be free to all students at those schools. Districts across the Houston area say they're abiding by the same criteria for their schools. The uh, reimbursement rates that we get from USDA are still, you know, uh, coming. We'll still be getting paid for those free and reduced meals. Antignolo says thanks to inflation, grocery prices are up about 11 to 12 percent across the board. And so that is requiring his district to get a little bit more creative with meals on the menu starting on August 10th. Reporting live in Sugar Land, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News.